In Creole Parametric, you can create boundary blends in one or two directions. And there's a special way of creating boundary blends in two directions that I'll show you at the end. Here I have a model with five sketches in it. Here we have like a main spine curve. Then we have a few other curves in here and some internal curves. I'm going to use these curves for creating boundary blends. Let's start off with the boundary blend tool. First, let's take a look at creating a boundary blend in one direction. I will select this curve over here, and I'm getting too much of it. I just want to create a boundary blend in this first area over here. You can grab this and drag it to some area, but usually I like to just right click over the circle and choose trim at and then pick my trimming entity. So there's my first curve in the first direction. Let me hold down the control key and select my second curve in the first direction. And again, I'm getting way too much of this curve. You can see how it's deforming the shape. I've taken my hand off of the control key. I'm just right clicking over the circle at the end for controlling the extent of the curve. Let's choose trim at and I'll trim it to this one over here. And so there you see we're getting essentially a straight surface between those two curves. And then let's use the control key. I'm actually selecting the same curve I picked the first time. And where's that circle? Right here. Let's right click and trim at and choose over here. And there you see the result of selecting those three curves in the first direction. Let's see how different it is if we choose different curves. I'll go to boundary blend and this time I'll choose this curve, hold down the control key and select this other curve and then middle mouse button and you see the results. So there we have two different surfaces by choosing two different sets of curves in the first direction. To make this easier to see, let me select these two using the control key and then hide from the mini toolbar. Now in the middle, I'm going to create a boundary blend and I'm going to create it in two directions. Let's choose boundary blend and I'll select this curve again as my first curve and then right click trim at and trim it to here. And same thing with this one, right click trim at, trim it to this one over here. That's my first curve in the first direction. Now I'll hold down the control key and select my second curve in the first direction. I've let go of the control key. Now I'm just gonna choose trim at and trim this back so it's not so weird looking. Trim at, select this one over here. And now I'm going to hold down the control key and select my third curve in the first direction, which is the same as the first curve in the first direction. But once again, I'm going to right click over the circles and choose trim at and trim it back to here. And this one as well, right click trim at and over there. By the way, you don't have to right click and choose trim at. You can drag that circle and if you hold down the shift key, it'll snap into different entities in your model. Now let's hold down the right mouse button and I'm going to activate my second direction curves collector. Let's open up the curves tab on the dashboard. So there's where I'm going to select my curves for the second direction. And I'm just left clicking on this curve over here. The preview goes away because it's like, hey, how do I create this one? Now I'll hold down the control key, select this curve. Now we have the preview. And in this way, we are getting our surface created in two directions. Okay, that's good for that one. Let's hit the check mark or the middle mouse button. You can see the surface there. Let's hide it. Now I'm going to show you the other way of creating a boundary blend in two directions. Uh, and this one is a method that most people are not familiar with. All right, let's create, and I'm going to create it for, for sort of like the nose up here. Let's click on the boundary blend tool, and I'm going to select this curve. And then let's right click and choose trim at and then select that. Here, let me show you the shift method. I'm just going to drag this over here. Now I'm going to hold down the shift key on the keyboard and it snaps right into what it's being used to trim at. Uh, actually, that's not what I wanted to use. Let me grab, let me undo that. Let me drag it over here. I actually want to trim it. Make sure that you follow along here. Follow along the shape of the curve. I don't mean like for you to follow me as I'm talking. Uh, here's my first curve in the first direction. 
Now I'm going to hold down the control key and select my second curve in the first direction. You can see the preview that we're getting. I find it much easier to right click on that drag handle and change to trim at and select this curve over here. And so let's add in our third curve. I'll hold down the control key and select the same curve I picked the first two times. I'm using the same curve three times just by using trim at in order to adjust how much I am using of that same curve. It was pretty neat. So here I've selected three curves in the first, actually the, the fir first and third curve were the same. Uh, the second curve was different. All right, let's go to the curves tab over here. Now I'm going to add in for the second direction curves, just this one curve. I'll select one curve in the second direction and there we have our surface created so you are allowed to use a single curve in either the first or the second direction in order to generate your surface in this way here so that's good let's hit the check mark now to be honest i usually try to avoid this method because you can get some unpleasing surface geometry and aesthetics let's go to the analysis tab first let's take a look at a curvature plot curvature just gives you one over the radius at every point and you can see what the porcupines look like you could use these to crank up and get additional porcupines along there but the more that you add the more cluttered it is going to get in here when you're displaying it and you can see that some weird stuff does happen with the curvature right up there at the nose. And that's due to having three-sided surfaces. Three-sided surfaces have something called a point of inflection. And the, this patch over here, it's essentially a three-sided surface, side one, side two, side three. And the same thing with the other half over here, side one, side two, side three. Three-sided surfaces have this point of inflection where you can get some high curvature. Let's take a look at a, another tool for curvature. Instead of the regular curvature tool, which is one over the radius at every point, we'll use the shaded curvature tool. And shaded curvature uses something called Gaussian curvature. With Gaussian curvature, imagine standing on a point on the surface and then measuring the radius in every direction uh, out there or measuring the curvature, one over the radius at every point, 360 degrees around that point. The Gaussian curvature is the product of the maximum curvature and the minimum curvature there. And so Gaussian curvature will allow us to see how things change. And you can see right there at the nose there, we have this sort of like rainbow thing going on over here where the rest of the surface has pretty much around the same curvature, but then we're getting these tight changes over right there at the nose. And actually, as I crank up the quality, you can see, you know, cranking up the quality, you can really see how it gets pinched down over there. Actually, the quality is too low. Uh, but especially as you zoom in over there, you're like, yeah, we're getting some, some quality issues there at the nose. So there again, you have it. Those are three different ways of creating boundary blends by using curves in one direction, using curves in two directions, and then doing the two directions with a single curve in either the first or second direction. I hope you enjoyed this video. For more information, please visit www.creowindchill.com. If you learned something from this video, please give it a thumbs up. And if you like this video, click that subscribe button and ring the bell to be informed when new videos are uploaded. Thank you very much.